بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful with the help of Allah we began to talk about the ethics in hadith and seerah we reached to this point that we were talking about belief believing in Allah believing in messenger of Allah believing in resurrection day we said Believe has a lot of effect in our life. If a person believes in Allah and Resurrection Day, he lives in one way, one style of his life. And if he doesn't believe in anything, of course, he feels much more free. We promise to talk about other issues which have relation to their love. We said we should talk about this issue that whom we should love. In this world, definitely, we love some people, we like some people, and we dislike the others. We love something and we dislike something else. But it is good to talk about this issue that what and who we should love really, and it is considered as a real love and who is the real popular and lovable to us. And also, we want to talk about the signs of loving Allah. How we should know that we love Allah or not. What is the signs of loving Allah? And what is the effect of loving Allah in our life? These issues are basically our talk, inshallah, in this program. First of all, we should know that at the same time that we like a lot of things and too many people, we must understand that only there is one love that has the best effect in our life. Everything is temporary and it is going to finish sooner or later and none of them is going to help us in the day after unless have some kind of relation to the God. God himself first is the only one that deserves to be popular and lovable. Anything else which has a relation to Allah deserves to be loved. It depends how strong is the relation with Allah. As much as the relation of something is stronger with Allah, of course, it deserves to like more and more. First of all, Allah himself. When we say we should love only Allah, what is the reason behind that? The reason we as a people we love permanent life. We love to stay forever. If we have connection to Allah, of course, we are going to stay forever. It means anything we do, it is going to stay forever. Why? Because ma'indakum yanfad wa ma'indallahi baq. Anything you do for Allah, it is going to be permanent because Allah is permanent. And if we do something for Allah, it is permanent. So Allah himself, we love him because with Allah, with the relation with Allah, we make our connection to permanent one. We as a people do not like to feel that we are destroyed. And Allah is the only one that he is permanent. And if we do something for Allah, it is going to be permanent. Because of that, we should say that one of the reasons that we should love Allah and we love Him is Allah is going to stay forever. And by connection to Allah, anything we do, it is going to stay forever. We love Allah. Another reason of loving Allah is enjoyment. 
in our life anything which help us to enjoy, of course we love it. We love to have a good car, we love to have a good house, we love to have a lot of money. Why? Because we feel that we can gain enjoyment by these issues. All of them are considered as a material enjoyment. Food, good car, good house, good salary, all of them will help us materially to enjoy. But we have another kind of enjoyment which is considered as a, a spiritual enjoyment and it is much more important comparing to material enjoyment. For example, when you love a person, when you love a girl, only in your imagination you enjoy a lot by loving her. And considering to material enjoyment, this is much, much more important. For example, when we love a person who is the strongest person in the world, we love to see him, we love to talk to him. This is a spiritual enjoyment, it is not physical. It is not eating something, drinking something. It is a spiritual one. And since we know that Allah is almighty, all knowledge, all beneficent, Allah is the only one who has knowledge all about everything and helps us a lot and helped us a lot and can help any time he wants. Because of that, we enjoy to talk to him. So another reason of enjoying, of loving Allah is we enjoy to talk to him. As I said, when we know a person is a stronger person among all, we love him. And also we should understand that when we know that Allah has knowledge about everything and is the strongest one, we love to talk to him. Talking to Allah has an enjoyment. And because we enjoy to talk to him, we love him. Imam Sajjad, peace be upon him, says in Sahih Sajjadiyya, Ilahi, azikni halawata mahabbatik. Oh my Lord, help me to taste your love. Those people who taste the loving of Allah, they don't compare anything with Allah. Anything who has connection to the Lord, they love it. And anything has no connection to Allah, they don't like or they ignore it. So another reason of loving Allah is enjoyment, but it is a spiritual enjoyment. We enjoy by talking to Allah, by having relation to Allah, crying and chanting. Of course, certain people will understand the, this kind of love and this kind of enjoyment. Great scholars are enjoying to talk to Allah and to chant. When they cry, it doesn't mean they don't enjoy. They enjoy, but their enjoyment is different from us. So, a spiritual Enjoyment is another reason that we love Allah. And the third reason that we love Allah and we should love Allah is beneficence. When we think that Allah is all beneficent, Allah is the one that he has given to us everything and every day he takes care of us. He gave us the ability, he gave us the existence. We were not born and he helped us to be born. He fed us, he gave us the sustenance, he gave us ability to move. When we think about these issues, then we are going to love him. So if a person doesn't like Allah, doesn't love Allah, it is because he has no knowledge. If a person helps us with material issues, a little. He helps with a little money, we are going to like him. Imagine a person that who has given us everything and every day and every second he helps. 
So it is another reason. As a briefly, we have understood that enjoyment and also knowledge that Allah is beneficent and the beneficence that we gain through Allah and also when we have knowledge that by having relation to Allah and connection to Allah, we are going to stay forever. In the day after, we are going to have the best life with the help of Allah, inshallah, forever. Of course, this is another reason that we are going to love Allah. Now, I would like to talk about second subject. Second subject is the signs of loving Allah. How we should know that we love Allah. There are different signs to show and prove that we love Allah or not. One, as I briefly I'm going to mention, then I'm going to talk about them. To love the death, to prefer Allah once to our ones. Third, do not neglect Allah. Anything we have, happiness or sadness, will be because of Allah. To love Allah's friends and also to fear and at the same time to have hope toward Allah. All these that I'm going to talk about them are the good signs to show and prove that really we like Allah or not. First of all, to love the death. One of the signs to show that we love Allah is to love the death. Allah says, قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ هَادُوا إِنْ زَأَمْتُمْ أَنَّكُمْ أَوْلِيَاءُ لِلَّهِ فَتَمَنَّوا الْمَوْتَ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ مِنْ دُونِ النَّاسِ فَتَمَنَّوا الْمَوْتَ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ Say, O oh, you who are Jews, if you think that you are the favorites of Allah to the exclusion of other people, then invoke this if you are truthful. Allah says, O oh, Jew, you claim that only Allah loves you and you are chosen people. You would think that you are Allah's friends. That's okay. It has a sign. If it is the case, Ask Allah to die. If you are truthful people. And definitely you are not going to have such a request. This is one sign. Another sign is the priority of Allah's will. If really we love Allah, the priority in our life should be Allah's love. Allah's like anything Allah wants it it should have priority and we should prefer Allah's like Allah's will to our will many times we want something we wish something and we know that Allah wants something else if we prefer Allah's will to our wills then it's a good sign that we love Allah so those people that they follow their passions and they claim that they love Allah. They are not truthful people. They are liars. To love Allah is a sign. And the sign is obey Allah. If Allah forbids something, we should stop it. And if he has ordered us to do something and obligated to us, we must follow it. Allah says in chapter 3 verse 31, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبَعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهِ وَيَقْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ Say, if you love Allah, then follow me. You cannot say, I love Allah, but I am not going to obey him. Then follow me. Allah will love you and forgive you your faults. If you love Allah, then Allah is going to love you and forgive your sins. This is another sign. So, prefer Allah's will to our wills. The third one, not to ignore 
not to neglect Allah. It means if really we love Allah, we should remember him all the time. If you love somebody, you should not forget him. And it depends to your love. If you really love a person all the time, you remember. There is a narration from Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him. Imam says, كَانَ فِي مَا نَاجَ اللَّهِ أَذَّوَجَلْ بِهِ مُوسَى بْنِ إِمْرَانَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ أَنْ غَالَ لَهُ يَا بْنِ إِمْرَانَ Imam Sadiq says, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, was chanting to Allah, and Allah told him, Oh, Moses, كَذِبَ مَنْ زَعَمَ إِنَّهُ يُحِبُّنِي فَإِذَا جَنَّهُ اللَّيْلِ نَامَ عَنِّي Moses, you should know that a person who claims that he loves me and when it is in the night, he sleeps all the night. He is a liar. Why? Allah says, أَلَيْسَ كُلَّ مُحِبٍّ يُحِبُّ خَلْوَةَ حَبِيبِهِ Allah says to Moses, it is not true that if a person loves another person, he loves to be alone with him and talk to him and to chant with him. What happened? He claims that he loves me and in the night he sleeps all the night. So another sign is not to neglect Allah and remember Allah all the time. And another sign, Allah says, لَكَيْ لَا تَعْسَوْا عَلَىٰ مَا فَاتَكُمْ If a believer, a person who loves Allah, if he is happy or he is sad, it is because of Allah. He doesn't become so happy of something that Allah has no relation to that. He doesn't become upset and angry if it doesn't affect Allah or if it is not a, an issue or big deal for Allah. If Allah doesn't become sad. Allah says in chapter 57, 23, لِكَيْ لَا تَعْسَوْا أَلَىٰ مَا فَاتَكُمْ وَلَا تَفْرَحُوا بِمَا آتَاكُمْ A good believer is the one that from this world, if he achieves a lot, he doesn't become too much happy. And if he loses something, he doesn't become so much upset. So sadness and happiness will be only because of Allah. Another sign be friends with Allah's friends. If a person loves Allah, should love those people who love him. Allah says in Quran, chapter 48, verse 29, Muhammad Rasulullah, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. وَالَّذِينَ مَأَهُوا أَشَدَّاءُ عَلَى الْكُفَّارِ رُحَمَاءُ بَيْنَهُمْ And those who are followers of Muhammad, and those who love Muhammad, are those people, when they come to disbelievers, they are so hard. And when they come among themselves, they have a mercy on each other. And they are very soft toward each other. It means they love each other. So another sign of loving Allah is to love his friends. And the last one, to have hope and fear toward Allah. At the same time that we are encouraged to fear from Allah's chastisement, from, from Allah's punishment in Resurrection Day, at the same time Allah says, لا تقنتوا من رحمة الله You should not be disappointed in any circumstances. To be disappointed is a big sin. In any circumstances. Although we have done a lot of things which was wrong, we must still have a hope that Allah is going to forgive and has a mercy on all people. So, as a briefly, we have understood in this class that to love Allah has different reasons. One of the reasons, we know that if we have connection to Allah, we are going to stay permanently. Our deeds will stay permanently in Resurrection Day. When we know that by having a relation to Allah, 
when we think that Allah has helped us in this life, of course we are going to love him and also we love Allah because we feel that we can enjoy by talking to Allah. And also we mentioned the signs of loving Allah. We said to love the deaths, to give priority to Allah's will and also not to neglect Allah and remember him all the time and to have sadness or happiness only because of Allah, be friends with Allah's friends and to have fear and hope only toward Allah. Thank you very much for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.